Now let's clean the geometries. I don't like the extension here and the extension here. Okay, so let's trim these lines. So for trim, let's type TR in our keyboards and then enter. It will ask you to select objects. So look at the uh, command prompt history. So it is asking you actually to select cutting edges. Okay, so I want to be I want this to be trimmed. So I need this as my cutting edge. And I want this to be trimmed and I need this to be my cutting edge. Okay. So I'll select this first. Okay. As my cutting edge. Just to, just to demonstrate the trim command. And then uh, enter. Okay. So once the cutting edge is selected, I'll just uh, hit enter. And then it will ask you to select the object to trim. Okay. So of course, I need this to be trimmed. And there it was uh, cut. And then escape. Okay. But for faster trim command, let's undo. Okay, so control Z to undo. For a much faster execution of the trim command, let's type TR for trim. And then instead of hitting the enter once, let's hit the enter twice. So one, two. Okay, so hitting the enter twice will make all the objects on your drawing essentially a cutting edge so everything could be cut already or could be trimmed because all of your objects now were turned into cutting edges so let's delete the unwanted geometries and with just one command and then hitting twice the enter i could trim uh, almost everything in the geometry so after doing the trim just press escape to finish the command. So we can now move on to create the details of the title block. So let's uh, look again at our reference. And we have a major division of the color code, which is 1 cm. The name, which is 1 cm also. And another 1 cm for the other details. So let's go back to AutoCAD. And... Let's use this as our reference for the uh, class code or color code. So let's use offset again as our uh, command for AutoCAD. So O and then enter. Now before we type in our offset distance, let's take a look first at our command prompt. So in the command line, uh, it's asking us to specify offset distance or it provides us additional options. So these items on a square bracket are actually options, okay? But we rarely use this in offset. But for other commands, we need the options. We need to pay attention to the other options. But uh, for offset, for our 2D, we rarely use the other uh, parts. So let's move on. It's asking us to specify the offset distance so that's one centimeter so it's uh, 10 mm so enter then of course to the right this time to offset the uh, object to the left i mean to the right and then click and then what's the next division there division for the name and the other details so it's another one centimeter go back to autocad and we could just create a line okay so line so L, enter from the midpoint. So make sure that your object snap is turned on by clicking F3 or uh, toggling it through your status bar. Object snap. So I'll snap from the midpoint. Click. And then snap to the perpendicular. Okay. So if it's not appearing, Control right click again or shift right click and then perpendicular to make sure that only perpendicular will appear. And once that uh, snap point appears, click and then escape. And then what are the other divisions? So this one again is into half. Let's create that again using line. So go back again to AutoCAD and then line again. So just re invoke it by hitting enter. And then from midpoint again, and to the perpendicular of this 
border. Then, escape or enter to finish the command. And last division, another division for the uh, details, which is probably a half. Okay? So, what we shall do is, I'll just select this one. So, I'm using uh, window crossing selection. Okay? So, I'll select. And then, I want it to be copied. So, I'll type C O. So, C O to copy and then enter. And then from the midpoint or endpoint, okay, but midpoint of this line. So from this uh, midpoint or endpoint, I'll click and then drag it towards the midpoint of this line. So midpoint. So once the midpoint uh, snap point appears, I'll just click. And there is our title block. So last thing now is just to create the text.